Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Thursday, August 8th, 1 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. You're looking at the sun. Holy mackerel. Well, let's look at these active regions equatorial here. Two plagues. We have a sunspot region here near the equator south and just north of the equator, another eruption, erupting active region. This is indicative of solar activity during the solar cycle, which we're living, solar cycle 24. We are currently still in solar cycle 24 and the sun is responding. We're waiting for that equatorial event to trigger the polar solar polar reversal into cycle 25 we're looking for that event you've entered the effing awesome classroom hold fasten your seatbelts, kids july was the earth's hottest month on record european scientists say <laughs> who are these guys who are the european scientists i want to know who they are because they're full of it warmest on record hottest ever July 2019 was not the warmest on record. Probably the fourth warmest in the last 41 years. Uh, but that's about it. Yeah, one would think that the very best data would be used to make this assessment. But it wasn't. So what they're using is whatever they need to make their case. And it's a disgrace. July was not the hottest month on record anywhere, ever. And I'll tell you why, because the Minoan Warm was way hotter than we have ever been today. Here's the GIST 2 da data right here. Look at it. You can see a steady decrease in temperature for the last 4,000 years to present. Hail flooding hits north of Tampa. A small area just went west and north of Tampa was pummeled Friday morning with wind-driven rail and rain and hail. Holy sh... Dispatchers report callers seen flooding at 360th and Bibbidi Blue. They haven't seen this since they saw it last time. Thunderstorms produce hail, flooding, and power outages in New Jersey. Look at the temperatures in the 80s. Lower 80s. That's warm. I haven't seen that ever. I mean, it should be in the 90s. It's summer. Hail damages Brooklyn Park businesses, and they're holding it in their hand. Oh, my God. They're holding it. Look at that. They were golf ball size hail coming down at a pretty good rate. Cars submerged in floodwaters as terrifying thunderstorms batters Baltimore with strong hail. Residents have shared photos and videos of this strong hail flooding and battering their cars. Man, why would you live there? Baltimore residents shared photos and videos. The heavy thunderstorm struck late in the afternoon, dropped two inches of rain in the area less than two hours. Hours of powers. <coughs> More hail. Holy mackerel. Storm drops large hail in South Dakota. Bigger than a golf ball. Tuesday storm brought with it large hail and damaging hail to parts of South Central South Dakota. Several reports of hail in the Blunt and Oneida area. Some photos showed hail approaching baseball size.
This isn't even the biggest stones that are falling. There's some that are a lot bigger than this one. Baseball to potentially softball size hail falling. He wishes it was that big. Hail damages Tabor Corn. Barnwell also hit hard by storm. Barnwell area residents and farmers are still in a state of shock after major storm packing 146 kilometers per hour winds and loony size hail roared through the small community, crushing corn, shredding it. It's always very saddening to see crops wipe out completely from a storm like this. Get ready to freeze. Strongest weather system this winter about to hit. Lake Schmidt, bomb issues severe weather warning ahead of bitterly cold polar low. Millions of Australians are in the path of a major winter storm that has forced the bomb to issue severe warnings after they said it would never fucking snow ever. Let's unmute it. We're down. When winter winds up, we might look back at this week as being the most intense week of winter with some very significant weather on the way. We're going to see snow down to 500 metres for Tasmania, Victoria, New South Wales and the ACT, I would expect. Alpine blizzards multiple Super times on multiple days. Now. Powerful winds will develop from around Thursday. There's even the chance of some coastal inundation for parts of Victoria this week. Let's take a look. So we've got a front that's rolled across Tasmania during the late, latter part of Wednesday, but it's leaving a trail of rain across Victoria and South Australia. Nothing all that wild yet, just a band of rain moving through across the day on Wednesday, sl slowly increasing as well for many areas. Then we'll see a weak front coming on through, but it's all ramping up with this system in particular. Look at those red arrows. We're talking about gale force winds moving into South Australia and then spreading across Victoria. So late Thursday into Friday is when we're going to see the worst winds, and it's all about this low pressure system that will swirl on through. It's quite intense low as well uh, and we're going to see uh, very low pressures which will mean that the sea level will rise and that could lead to coastal inundation when that front slams on through southeastern Australia for a couple of spots. And so with that we're going to see some pretty strong winds lingering on into the weekend as well depending on how this system turns up. So there's potential for another front to come through on the weekend that will maintain the cold, wet and wind Windy weather right through the weekend by the looks of things. In terms of snowfall, we're still starting to see a little bit of snow through the next couple of days, but it really gets snowy when that Thursday into Friday front arrives. And we'll see heavy alpine blizzards and the snow level will drop considerably through the day so that by the time we get to the night, uh, we could see snow in Canberra on Friday night. And there's a uh, AFL match and we could see uh, snow at the AFL game that night. And then snow will linger on and will drop down to 500 metres at times in parts of those states that I mentioned before. And we could see snow on the weekend for the Blue Mountains as well. So it's going to be a very cold, wet and windy weekend and a lot of snow moving through with probably 50 to 100 centimetres for the Alpine areas. You can see the temperatures. This is what we're expecting on Wednesday afternoon. So it's already cool across southern areas, but that's shading in yellow. It's Temperatures above 20 degrees, and you can see over the following days that 10, 20 degree plus region will get shifted all the way north and out of the screen as it gets colder and colder over the following days. And notice the winds as well, substantial wind chill right through this period of time, all the way through till Sunday when it gets cold, even for southeast Queensland. Holy macaroni, that sounds cold. Like smoke a bully cold. Seismic update. No quakes of note. So noteworthy that I just erased them. Let's reopen the closed tab. Seismic update. <whistles> oh, good times. Good times. We see mid craton in the U.S. Frack quakes erupting. Only quake of note is over in Afghanistan. Trust me. 5.8, 221 kilometers at depth. Probably no building shaking, but certainly we're looking for quaking. 
Holy macaroni. 5.9 Taiwan. Scientists make unprecedented find in Hawaii's most active volcano. Kilauea has a pond and phreatic eruption is imminent. That means it's explosive and dangerous. Scientists have made an unprecedented discovery in Hawaii's most active volcano. Researchers with the U.S. Geological Survey confirmed last week that there is water at the bottom of the summit. Oh my God. What does that mean? <clears throat> well, it means there's water at the bottom of the summit, apparently. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Sav and Kai have been blowing 27 to 31,000 feet over the last several thousand minutes. Next solar storm. Whoa! Next solar wind stream. Earth is exiting one stream. We just saw that uptick. There it is. That's like, there's the speed. That's what the coronal hole that we just coupled with right there. But we're about to couple with the second coronal hole. Arriving sometime during August 10th, the incoming stream is flowing from a southern hole, which can kiss my hole. Let's take a look. There it is. Whew. Look at that baby. Look at it. It's about to couple with us. But more importantly, the areas of excitement here near the equator are indicative of solar cycle 24 activity. We're still in solar, solar cycle 24. Earth's last magnetic pole flip took much longer than we thought. After the last decade, we've been receiving information that it's very quick. They're now reversing their tune. Volcanic records reveal the complexity of magnetic field reversals, and they apparently take much longer than we thought now. So you're fine. Most people would rather lose their job to a robot than another human. Yeah, this is a weird study. They would rather lose their job to a robot exclusively. And if their co-worker's job was being replaced, they would rather that be replaced by a human than a robot. It's bizarre. It's all in the ego. Hordes of Earth's toughest creatures are now living on the moon. Yeah, there might be life on the moon. Of course, there is. Now... Based on analysis of spacecraft's trajectory, what we've basically done is polluted the moon with not only fecal matter. Look, look at this. Man, read this article. It's disgusting. We've literally dumped hundreds of pounds of human waste on the moon. Not only that, we're now polluting it with tardigrades, and other biological entities from Earth. It's the most unscientific crap, pile of crap I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. All the Apollo missions poop and urine are on the moon. And the Israeli satellite smashed a bunch of other shit on the moon. And a bunch of shit is on the moon. Including shit. Which is on the moon. Breakthrough Prize criticized for rewarding failed ideas. <laughs> Look at these pricks smiling their ass off because they just got $3 billion to research crap that's not even real. Total fantasy. Shardicle asshole number one. Uh, Look at this douchebag with his too tight schmuck prick shit over here and this fucking prick. They can all suck it while they die of cancer and hopefully their spouses go with them. These pricks talking about super gravity, which was proposed in the 70s, which is all nonsense, got $3 billion to continue the research on fucking nothing. I'm so sick of this fucking shit that these people can fucking die right now. But they got $3 billion and they're going to spend it on nothing to research nothing that will result in nothing. But you know what is not nothing? Johnson & Johnson now start the largest Ebola vaccine trial in Uganda after Congo Ebola controversy results in vaccines being... Uh, anyway, 
Burger King made controversial admission that's going to upset a lot of vegan customers after their impossible burger is going to be cooked on the exact flames of other burnt flesh. Total shark. <laughs> Percy at Meteor Shower 2019. Hundreds of meteors are about to light up the fucking sky. Look up, you pricks. You're so lazy. You want to buy your burgers and I'm a vegan. I'm going to go to Burger King to get a vegan burger? What fucking vegan would ever go to Burger King for a burger? That's knowledge. I'm so sick of it. It's like we're living in Retardoville. Prepare at the ranch.com. Subscribe to the channel if you care. If you don't, I don't care. Be safe. We love you. NASA, NOAA, they're frauds. Climate change, yeah, natural variability. The magnetic reversal is about to evolve your ass. Are you prepared? Don't be scared. Get a clue.